Okay, here's how to change the brake pads on 2005 uh, rear brake pads rough. Obviously, I'm gonna take the tire off. And I actually kind of already got started. Then you're gonna need a 14 millimeter socket. There's this bolt right behind it. I don't know if you can see it, it's in the back. Once you have those two bolts out, you're gonna take the brake caliper off. You're gonna take off this back shield, which is actually held on by a little clip on the inside. You just kind of pop this clip off. This thing comes off, you take it off. Okay, so once you have that backing plate off, what you wanna do is you see these little clips right here? You gotta just take them off with the screwdriver. So once this clip comes off, once this clip comes off, and then there's a third one right there. That'll come off. And then, you take a punch, and you can push out these pins by hand. And these pins come out. It's other side. You could use a screwdriver for this too. You don't actually need a punch. other clip come out then you can just pull these brake pads out so once you have the brake pads out that's what you're gonna be left with you can put take one of these C clamps and you can put it on um, set it to the right and these are like three dollars at advance auto or something it's worth getting if you don't actually have it because you can try using like a vice or uh, like a vice grip or something, but it's not worth it. Or pliers, it's not worth it. See, this is really, really easy. It's just going right in. It's, you compress the brake caliper or piston like this. Very, very simple, very easy. Okay, so this is how you wanna put your brake pads. You see this kinda clip on here? You want it facing the brake piston. You wanna hold it in place. It will try to fall out on you. Ask me how I know and you kind of hold it right there, okay? And then the clip that we took out, I just greased it up a little bit, so it just slides in here a little a little easier, and then you just kind of, once you get one in, it'll make life easier for you to get the other one in. And notice it's not all the way through yet. We'll get to that in a second. Just want to get this one in as well. Just line it up, the holes, and just, there we go. And this, okay, the bottom last part, just kind of move, move the brake pads around till they're lined up and it goes through the hole. There we go. It's a little bit higher. And there, it's through the hole. Okay. Now that you got your new brake pads installed, we're going to put the clips on. So you got to put the pins back on. So once you have these rods lined up, you separate the brake pads as much as possible from each other because you're going to put it on a rotor and um, you want as much space as possible. And oops, it fell. All right, here we go. So here's how you put it on. See this, see this rod? This little curve, it goes under it. This little lip of the pad, um, the pin, it goes around. So see, it goes on the other side. And then this right here, you kind of bend it, put it back in the hole, and that's it. That'll hold that kind of in place for a little bit. And then, this is the last one. You see there's holes, a hole there, there's a hole there. You might have to use pliers to make sure the holes line up. You can turn the rods and just kind of pull it and press it down into place. And there we go. Ideally, 
what you want to do before you put the pads on is get some um, brake pad grease and you put it around the back of these pads and that way they won't squeal when you brake. So uh, I found that even without putting the grease, they don't squeal on me, but that you, you want to do that. And then this might, um, this might not want to go on as easily because these new brake pads are thicker, you know? So you just kind of keep them separate, slide them on, and yeah, it'll be a tighter fit, but you can see where the holes were originally. And you just kind of line it up to the holes and put it in place. So once the brake pads are in place, you just put the screws back in. And it's very simple. I mean, at this point, it's just two two of these bolts that go in. They're 14 millimeters. We took them off. We're gonna put them back on. You just tighten them down, and you put your um, you put your tire back. Okay. So once you have the top um, bolt in, it'll kind of rotate like this. So then you can put this bolt in the bottom one, and you just kind of move it back and forth till you find that sweet spot. And there, now it starts to thread in. And once it starts to thread in, you can just take your ratchet, and then just bolt it in place okay and then the top and then the last thing was this little shield so this goes around this kind of goes around the, the pins these pins right here in the back so this goes around that pin and then you Pull this a little bit, it goes around that pin, and there we go, that's in place. And that'll protect the brake pads from brake dust, and that's it.